This video was sponsored by the World Caregiver Network. For more information, visit www.worldcaregivernetwork.com. Welcome to Fright Night for Real. Hello everyone, this is Charles F. Gray, aka Atari Charles, and uh, basically this video is on a couple formats that I actually enjoy. Well, maybe more than one or two, maybe three. VHS, DVD, and of course, Blu-ray. Where's 4K? Couldn't tell you, it never caught on. Anyways, uh, what I'd like to discuss today is basically um, in this particular video, why I decided to get back into VHS tapes. You might think, yeah, like, why would he want to? And I'm going to explain this. So anyways, when DVDs came out, I was never really heavily into the format. I saw it had a lot of issues or a lot of quality issues. There would be pixelation and dark scenes, so on and so forth. It never really caught on. When there was distortion, it was digital distortion, and it was hard to look at. And I just never caught on. I had some VHS tapes, and although the image would be considered soft, um, you know, at least it wasn't hard on the eyes. It would just be a softer image. Now, of course, we have Blu-ray, and then, of course, we have 4K. So once Blu-ray came out, and I saw the massive quality increase, Blew away VHS, blew away, blew away DVD, and, uh, you know, I really liked it. Now, I understand, basically, Blu-ray is not considered exactly, well, it really isn't, is about one-fourth the quality of a 35 millimeter film. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole thing of, basically, digital versus analog, transferring something from analog to digital, and the downsides of that. I'm just going to get into resolution. Now... Even 4K is not quite at the level of a 35 millimeter roll of film, to be honest with you. But we're talking about Blu-ray, and Blu-ray is about one-fourth the quality. But, of course, I'm not watching it on a TV the size of Andre the Giant or anything like that. So, therefore, I don't. it's nice to have that resolution, but I didn't think it was necessary. And on my TV... It looked awesome. I remember buying. I remember buying a space, uh, space Odyssey, two thousand and one. I think it was, and uh, getting that on Blu-ray and watching it on my TV, my ten eighty p television, and it was just absolutely freaking amazing. It was absolutely amazing. But um, but anyways, but VHS is roughly about two hundred and twenty lines of resolution. Basically, it's interlaced. It's a trick. Da -na 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 -na. I can do a whole other video on that. Um, we have basically DVD, which is 420. And then we have Blu-ray, which is basically... Actually, some Blu-ray was 720, but most of it is 1080i interlaced or 1080p. So, but you might think, okay, yeah, Blu-rays. Why get into VHSs again? Like, why get into VHS tapes? And I'm going to explain why. But first, I'm going to show you my, I guess you could say my upstairs VHS collection. Uh, no, I'm not, there's, they're stacked fucking too deep. I'm not going to take all the tapes off, but I'm going to kind of give you a quick rundown on that. And that is starting right now. Okay, everyone. This is my upstairs VHS collection, DVD collection, and Blu-ray collection. My private collection is in the basement. Uh, but anyways, here it is basically, and you can see it now. Unfortunately, I need more uh, shelf space because these are stacked too deep, which uh, I don't like. Oh, there you go. You see a soother there. Isn't that interesting? You know, uh, but some pretty fucking awesome movies here, folks. Godfather, The Green Mile, Gone with the Wind, House. Well, it's very horrifying. And a lot of these uh, clamshell cases are actually, uh, there's Indiana Jones here, are actually mostly like Disney movie and um, animation movies, right? But anyways, and then I'm going to show you, go up 
up here. Oh, there should be this. Kind of the DVDs here. Um, again, my upstairs collection is basically things that I have doubles of, and I already have it on uh, Blu-ray. Or uh, basically, I like the movies good enough to have it on VHS or DVD because I got them for free. And, uh, sorry, you got a lot of, uh, crap here. These ones are actually empty. I got them, but the tapes were fucked. So, uh, here we go. This I have downstairs in better condition, right? But these are kind of the watch versions, basically. Then here we go. And these are stacked too deep. Um... If I was if I was to guess how many movies I have, I probably I don't have as many as Darren Beadman, aka MGTOW is the only way to live. Uh, in regards to the VHS collection, um, I'd probably conservatively say maybe two hundred. Here we go. Chris gave me these sets. It's nice of him. And then, of course, my doubles on uh, Blu-ray. Ended up buying the Blu-ray. Um, these Blu-rays from my ex for a really good price. And then here are some like, more uh, VHS. And most of these VHS I got totally for free. And most of these VH... Or, sorry. Mo okay. What am I going to say? Most of the VHS tapes I got entirely for free. Basically. And up upstairs here, actually, I think all of them I got for free. Uh, as for the, um, I'll just sit down and do this. As for the, uh, Blu-rays, I got a super wicked deal on them. So the doubles I put upstairs, but there's a lot of movies I didn't have. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. So, and then VHS were all for free. So VHS and there's like, obviously the, uh, the kids, uh, kids VHS and DVDs. So again, the VHS, all the VHS up here, I paid nothing for. I'm not saying they don't have a value, I, but I paid nothing for them. The DVDs up here, I paid nothing for. Obviously, the the video games that I've, you've kind of seen, you know, I did obviously pay something for that. And then the uh, the Blu-rays I got, but it was like I think it worked out to like fifty cents a movie or something like that. So you can't go wrong. So anyways, yeah, so so here it is, right? So anyways, um, there you go. You saw my uh, my upstairs uh, VHS collection. I obviously, I showed you some of my uh, DVD and uh, Blu-rays in the upstairs collection. Um, but the thing is, VHS, I when I was getting into, when DVDs were really strong and Blu-ray wasn't out yet, I had a bunch of VHS and actually I sold them. I knew that people still had machines and I just wasn't interested in them. And I thought, well, I'm not going to rebuy it on DVD, but I know VHS quality isn't all that great. So you know what? There we go. Adios. See you later. And I sold them and I got, uh, you know, I didn't get collector prices for them, but you know, I got part of the money back that I had spent on them originally. And I want to thank uh, university bookstore for uh, selling them for me. And, uh, you know, and they got, you know, I got some money out of it. So did they, it was all good. So anyways, basically, uh, I would probably say about a year, year and a half ago, uh, actually maybe even a bit before that, maybe two years ago, my friend Jim told me about the reuse center, which is local to my city. And he goes, man, they got tons of free movies, so on and so forth. So I went with them and I noticed there was a lot of like VHS, but really cool movies like star Wars, empire strikes back, just all sorts, Indiana Jones, you know, so on and so forth. And I got a box for the Candyman because the Candyman collected these. And I dropped off the box at the Candyman's place because he wasn't home. Still really wasn't interested. I thought the artwork was kind of cool on the VHS tapes. I thought it was the, the, the format is kind of interesting. But, you know, I gave them all to the Candyman. I, uh, so basically I'd probably say about a year and a half ago to two years ago, roughly, maybe about a year and a half ago, 
Uh, I ended up basically going to the reuse center with Jim again, and there was fucking tons of VHS, like good stuff, like Aliens, the Alien series of movies, Star Wars, uh, fucking Indiana Jones, you know, a bunch of action movies, a few horror movies, you know, some other sci-fi movies. I mean, and a lot of junk, like a lot of like Harry Met Sally and kind of rom-coms, which I don't really give a shit about. And there were some documentaries there, and I thought, fuck, I wouldn't mind having some of these. I didn't like the movies enough. Either I had the movies already on Blu-ray, or I didn't like them enough to, because uh, I've had Blu-ray for, fuck, fuck, time goes by. Maybe about 10 years I've been into Blu-rays, so, somewhere around there. But are there were movies that I liked enough to get it for free, but I didn't, didn't like enough to, uh, to actually buy them on Blu-ray. So it's like, okay, I can get them free on VHS or buy them on Blu-ray for 15 bucks. It's like per movie or get it for free. Now, how the Reuse Center works is basically people donate stuff there and people pay, I, you know, if you have a kind of a membership card, uh, then basically you're allowed, I think maybe 12 visits a year and you can take up to, or sorry, you can visit there as many times as you want, but when you take stuff out to keep, you can take up to 22 kilograms, 22 kilograms. And, uh, so basically I, you know, or you can pay the $5 for up to 22 kilograms and they weigh it. So it's a lot of stuff, even VHS tapes, which are heavy. And I got it, I got tons of them. And I got some that I really liked that went into the private collection, which is in the basement, which is movies I really like. And then I have the main floor collection. I call it the upstairs. It was basically the main floor collection, which is like other doubles of Blu-rays that I have, doubles of DVDs that I have, or basically uh, doubles of VHS that I have, or VHS movies that I like, but that are not good enough to be in the collection, right? And I'm very picky. Return of Living Dead on VHS would go in the collection. Harry Met Sally, or sorry, <laughs> Return of the Living Dead would go in the private collection downstairs. Harry Met Sally would go, if I had it, which I may have it, I don't know, would go in the uh, main floor collection, right? So anyways, it was free and I got fucking tons of VHS. And then I went there another time with Jim and got even more VHS. And then Jim slimmed down his VHS collection. He's like, hey, you want these? And I ended up getting like the Godfather on uh, on VHS, so on and so forth. I ended up getting Deer Hunter, and I'm not sure if that was from Jim or not, but it, these were originally all from the Reuse Center. It was free, basically, literally free. And the Deer, Deer Hunter, the movie's fucking kick-ass, man. What a kick-ass movie. And I'll do a movie review on that as well. So anyways, basically, um, you know, I got into it because I can get the tapes for free. There's only been a few tapes that I've paid for where I basically paid a buck each for them because they're in basically sealed condition. They're literally sealed still or in mint condition. Or basically, I bought this Star Wars trilogy, which is basically the original theatrical format before George Lucas made all the changes. And I bought that off a guy online for like, and he was local. I just picked it up at his place for like 15 bucks and it's sealed, it's never been opened. So sometimes I will spend money on VHS, but most of the time, honestly, it has to be free. I put things on fa or Facebook, like for in the local area where, hey, I'm looking, you know, if anyone has any VHS they wanna get rid of, I collect it, if anyone, you know, if bad people give me it, like it's awesome. But anyways, I'm not one of these guys that collects VHS and is, and is like, oh, well, I'm gonna pay $30 for this tape because it's this, uh, it's from Astral Video or some other obscure thing and it's some obscure horror movie or something. I'm not gonna do that. It pretty much for me needs to be free and if I really want it, I'll pay a buck for it. That's that's it, basically. So anyways, um, so anyways, I'm probably into, like money, monetarily, I probably spent, no, maybe $25 in total on my VHS collection, both the main floor and my private collection in the basement. Um, and uh, yeah, so, you know, for me, if it's free, if it's not free, I usually won't get it. Um, so anyways, the reason why I like it, first off, basically it's free. Second thing is there's kind of a cool feeling you get when you watch a VHS movie or when you watch a movie on VHS and you see all the trailers for other movies before the movie starts, which are, you know, they're basically the old, older trailers and that, which are, which is cool. And it's just kind of a feel to it. Basically it's, it's a soft look to it. 
Most of the time it is not letterbox. It is basically four by three aspect ratio like the old TVs. But it kind of, it's a different, it's a type of vibe you get basically watching them. Pe people who collect VHS know exactly what I'm talking about. So, so basically first reason it's free. Second reason is certain look to it and the, and the old, older like trailers, Star Wars, you know, and it's like fucking a trailer from the seventies. Um, and then of course, basically they're move some, a lot of the VHS are movies that I like, but I don't like enough to buy it in Blu-ray basically. I, I just don't. I don't like them enough to actually buy them in Blu-ray. So it's it's just really the way it is. And you can see behind me, this is the upstairs movie collection. Uh, VHS, DVD, Blu-ray. I think I have a few on that uh, video CD. It's a it's kind of like a Chinese bootleg format. But anyways, we're gonna. I'm you know you I've, you've seen the the, the collection. Um, but but yeah, I mean to be honest with you, it's like it, it's free. The movies are free, even if I paid a buck for the movie and I get an hour and a half of enjoyment of watching it, and I never watch it again. It's well worth it. And again, basically, there's some fucking awesome movies that are on VHS that are mainstream. But then there's also stuff that has never been released on any other format. There are tons of horror horror that have not. It has not ever been due to maybe the original footage has been lost. Or uh, there's copyright issues, blah blah blah. There are things that have never been. Re there are movies that have never been released outside of VHS, and it's kind of cool. And I belong to some Facebook groups that uh, are are VHS. Actually, I created one myself. Of Al I think it's called. What do I call it? Alberta. Alberta VHS collectors or something, something like that. Sorry, I don't I haven't looked at the page in a couple days. And then there's a Canadian one um basically uh, on that uh but anyways which I, I don't run but i'm part of but anyways the point is basically it's a cool hobby it's cheap to get into and uh i think it's cool i think there's a neat there's a neat aspect to it basically and of course so as an example we have the star wars trilogy you don't want to talk about the box art right so you got darth vader here you got this and you got this also, if you have the, this is a special edition, which is the edited footage. But if you get the the uh, silver one of this, it makes Darth Vader's face as one thing, right? So it's it's kind of cool. But anyways, it's kind of neat. They got these things here. This is my upstairs version. Uh, it's in pretty good shape, but I also do have my more pristine shape. Um, yeah, let's see. I, I, I like Star Wars the best out of out of all the the original Star Wars out of all the movies. But anyways, you have the basically, you know, you have the box art, you have the side thing, and then you have the thing on the back here. I don't know. I just think it's cool. Like the the artwork is is pretty interesting, pretty neat, and uh, I guess kind of maybe why one of the reasons why people like vinyl, right? Um, but anyways, I don't know. It's just kind of a cool box set. It kind of comes like this. Kind of slips in here and away it goes. And again, if I were to, this was free, 100% free, but if I were to buy this, this would have been $3 at Goodwill. Like, I'm not shitting you, and if it was half price, it'd be a buck fifty. So far, VHS is, well, super affordable, basically, to be honest with you. I'll just put it in this way. But anyways, uh, yeah, there's just so many aspects to it. There's probably other aspects I can think of. But uh, anyways, uh, thank you for, uh, you know, watching this video. I totally appreciate it. And uh, please like, please share, please subscribe. And if you want to hire one of my video services, you want me to do a video on a topic of your choice, or you would like to uh, basically hire my, you know, put a commercial in one of my videos, the links are in the PayPal description or PayPal links are in the video description below. All right, take care and cheers. See you later. Bye. This video was sponsored by the World Caregiver Network. For more information, visit www.worldcaregivernetwork.com. Welcome to Fright Night. Welcome. Um, second part. I don't know. Like, what can I say? There's uh, pop, 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 pop. 
What can I do this? Uh... Hold on, I'm going to pause up. This. <coughs> <coughs> okay, excuse me.